Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. We're working on this class damp fire project. I'm just, you know, getting ready to finish it up right here and take some final measurements. But I have this display that I need to hook up. And this display looks fairly simple. There's a circuit board back here, left and right input. Pretty simple, right? There's some pots to adjust, so I guess I could just hook my signal. Like, I started to experiment with this, putting this one up. And, you know, sometimes things don't work out quite as straightforward as you hope they will. You know, hook it up, adjust the pot, and you're done. Um, so, I'm going to draw the schematic so we can look at the schematic and see what we need to do to make some tweaks if we need to. The other thing is there's an input that says 5 to 12 volts for the LEDs because there's, uh, let's see, what is there? There's three LEDs across here. So, we can light those up as well. And what I need to do, though, is uh, come up with the 5 to 12 volts. Now, this thing has a 24-volt plus minus 24-volt DC auxiliary voltage, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, however, this is a 5 to 12 volts. doesn't say AC, but I can see a bridge rectifier right there, so that looks like you're supposed to put an AC voltage in there, 5 to 12 volts, and light up the LEDs. Since I have a DC voltage, we're going to use that. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Uh, but first, let me show you how I do the reverse engineering, coming up with a schematic. And uh, let's start there, okay? And then we'll power up the LED. I'll show you how I'm going to do that, or at least how I think I'm going to do that. But, yeah, let's come on over here, and I'll show you how to reverse engineer a small board like that. And you can apply this to even a more complex board, too, this method. All right, so let me... Bring the camera over, show you how we do that. Okay, guys, so this is the display, all right? And this is the PCB board. So we can take it off the display. Got these things been ordered a little bit, but we can take this off, okay? And that's what it looks like, all right? So if you look, you'll see the right ground left. This is for the audio signals coming in. So then we'll have two channels. One channel, if you look closely, you'll see two capacitors here, two diodes, and these parts here, a couple more diodes and some resistors, and this potentiometer. And then on this side, looks like pretty much identical parts. But then where it looks different is these R12 right there, Q1 there, these two caps and D11, VR1 right there, and this pot. So this stuff here is looks like the 5 to 12 volts comes in, goes to this bridge rectifier, and then runs through this circuitry, okay? And then right here, those two holes, those two, and these two are the three LEDs, okay? And then uh, this is the 5 to 12 volts input. So it just says volts, doesn't say AC. But you can see how it, these things directly go into this, this chip here, this D11, which is a bridge rectifier. Okay. And then on the back side, the back side looks very simple. Uh, you know, not too many traces. There's no components. So um, it looks fairly easy to, you know, trace the circuit, right? All right, guys, so we only need to look at this part of the board. Um, see, this part right here is one channel. Here's the other channel, and here's the LED. So if we look at this side, you can see how the two diodes are right here, and the capacitor's right there, and the potentiometer's right here. And then if you see, we have a diode, three resistors, diode, and resistor. So diode, three resistors, diode, resistor. And then another capacitor, which is right here. So I just kind of draw those on the, on the page like that. And then I start looking to see how they're connected. And then I just kind of connect up. I made a mistake because I was thinking all those were connected. They were not. So I put some X's. Nope, those aren't connected. So... Once I draw this out like this, then what I can do is, let me zoom out so you can see both of these things now. Okay, so then once I do that, then 
I can redraw that up there into something that looks a little bit easier to follow. So the right channel comes in. Left channel is going to be just the same on this side of the card. So left channel comes in, and then it goes. It's just right across the 50 k ohm pot, and then the center wiper goes through a 10 mic cap, so it's capacitor coupled. So it just lets the AC through, and then the minus part of that AC just goes to ground. So it goes to the resistor to ground. Then the the positive side is going to go up and through this 1K into this network here. Once it comes here, it's kind of voltage divider, 100 ohms to a diode here to ground. So this guy here is kind of interesting because uh, we have a 1, 1K 100 ohms to ground. So uh, only about one tenth of the voltage is coming through to this point. And then we have a, a two, another 1K to a diode. And then another 1K and a 47 mic cap. So this is a pretty large RC. Basically, you know, 1, 2, 3K and this to charge up the 47 mic. So this is kind of slowing down the signal so you can see it. So the needle just kind of moves around like that because it couldn't keep up with 20 kilohertz or even 1 kilohertz or even 60 hertz, right? It'd be just way too fast. So we slow it down by doing this and this diode basically clamps this voltage here so you're only going to get a max 0.7 volts across these two things which doesn't seem like very much but it doesn't take much to move that VU meter so that's kind of how I followed that and I started playing the signal through this and it's really sensitive I almost had to dial the pot all the way up to get a signal and I'll show you that so what I'm thinking is the signal comes through Maybe I increase the size of this 100 ohm resistor so that I can leave this pot dialed down a little bit, not put so much signal through, and then I can have more adjustability. I think that might be the way. So I'll show you what the signal looks like in just a moment. But here, let me bring you over this side. And you can kind of see what I did. So this is the right channel. This is all the stuff on the right side. I didn't hook it up because it's going to just turn into the same circuit as that one. But I might go ahead and finish that anyway. But this this part here, I got this kind of line drawn here, right through here. Well, right through here. So uh, the two caps right here, the transistor right there, and then here's a potentiometer right there with the resistor right to the top of that. Okay, kind of see the resistor right here. And so here's the two terminals where I come in and I go through this bridge rectifier and I can see it goes right up to this three pin part. And I, I showed four pins, this top one, that's really just a tab that's connected to this one. So then I made all these connections through there and then I have these three LEDs right here, which are right here. And it looks messy because, yeah, make mistakes along the way. Uh, and then I re, you know, wanted to redraw them, so I changed the plus to up here and the minus to the right side. So plus, minus, plus, minus. And that's the way it is actually when I'm looking at the board. It's, it's plus, minus. So... I line those up to match, and then I redrew the circuit to this. And again, I made a mistake here. This uh, this just goes this goes away, and this uh, transistor, the this emitter, just really just circles around, just goes to ground. Okay. So now these two lines here, I didn't draw, but they come out, and they're uh, what connects here. So AC connects to these this bridge, and then comes up and goes to this regulator. So we have a capacitor at the input of the regulator, we have a capacitor at the output of the regulator. And then there's a pot across the output to ground. And then the wiper of the pot goes through 1K into this base of this transistor. And then depending on how we set that up, we can run current through these three LEDs to the transistor to ground. And then we turn on the LEDs. So that's how that's controlled. So let's see if we can actually make this stuff work. 
So you can see the LEDs, the long leads, and then the leads for the display. So I just have to feed those up through here, get it all lined. Okay guys, so first I'm adjusting the amplitude here. And that's about the peak where I get, start getting above 0.1%, where it starts to hit 0.2. So I just take that up and you can see it's starting to get kind of crushed in the top and bottom. 5% distortion there. So I'm taking it down a little bit. And right there, it's just barely, it's just, it's a 0.12% distortion. And that's with noise. And then if I take it down, you know, distortion drops at a 0.0 something. But so what I do is I just take it up and to to what I consider like max power, like I'm going to say just below 0.2%, right about there, 0.12, okay? So about 0.12%, okay? All right, so now you can see I've got the needle right on the edge, just we're starting to touch red, okay? And all I did is came back here and adjusted this until I got that right there, okay? So see, I can adjust it down. I just bring it up till it's just barely in the white still. Right about there. And that's where I consider max power for this one. So that's in the reds where distortion starts picking up. So that's how I'm going to calibrate that. All right, guys. Um, you can see right down here, at the bottom of the screen, I have a Zener diode. It's a 15 volt Zener because that thing puts out 24 volts down there. That leaves me about nine volts DC. And I just need from five to 12 volts AC uh, to light up the LED. So that should be just enough. So I just put a Xenia in series to drop that voltage down. And here, let's turn on. Here, you know what? Here, let me turn off the lights a little bit. All right, guys, I had to turn off the, sh turn down the shop lights just a little bit. Okay, let me turn this on. Okay, and all right, turns out that thing it's not quite capable of driving those three LEDs. It doesn't have enough power, I don't think. So we'll have to look at some other way to do it. Hey guys, so what do you think? Um, so I tried to set up the meters. You know, I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of this meter. Unfortunately, the box was cut out for this. I had to buy this separate from the box. But yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, it seems kind of temperamental. I'm not sure why. Got to look into that. Also, the LED, um, the power supply on this, the auxiliary power supply, the so plus minus 24, it lit it up for a moment, and then the plus 24 actually kind of died. It's only putting out a couple volts now, so I got to look at that. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why that happened, because... There's only three LEDs. I wouldn't think that much current would hurt the auxiliary supply, but it seemed like it did take it out. So, jeez, I'll tell you what. Yeah, sometimes these builds just don't go quite the way you want them to. Uh, maybe I need to set up a separate power supply for this. Um, and anyway, yeah, I got to figure out the VU meters to see if they'll operate better. The last design I did the VU meters were separate meters and I and I actually did a fairly simple circuit um, to do what this thing's supposed to be doing and it just worked a lot better but yeah so that's why I said I'm not a big fan of this it seems like it seems like kind of a, an elaborate circuit just for the VU meter um, anyway uh, we'll, we'll we'll look at that and I'll see what I can come up with this. But meanwhile, yeah, tried to set up the display, tried to show you how I did it. At least it kind of showed you how I reverse engineer and schematic and come up with that. But huh, yeah, today's uh, lab experiment or build uh, production didn't go quite the way I wanted it to because I'm not really happy 
with how this is working out. So I'll let you know next time. <laughs> Holy criminy, man. Uh, all right. Hey, two thumbs up. My patrons as always. Thanks for the guys hitting the, uh, thank you. Uh, Joey hit that thing again. Thanks, Joey. Uh, bought me a cup of coffee. Uh, there's that thank you button down there next to the thumbs up button. So uh, thumbs up to the videos. Free way to support the channel. And also using all the links. Um, I have some of the tools I'm using. I'll put the links down below as well. And appreciate using those guys. And I'm going to come up with another video tomorrow. So I'm going to post this one. And I'll come up with another video. Because yeah, this one... A little bit lackluster, I guess. You know, all in all, at least I kind of showed you how I come up with this schematic from a board. So, hope you guys like it. Let me know. Give your comments. Let me know what you think about these displays. When I was looking on eBay for these displays, I noticed there's different boards. Uh, so, there's different designs for this. So, maybe I'll shop and find another one. Or maybe I'll just totally simplify this circuit. But I feel like these VU meters aren't the best either. Anyway, I guess enough said. So, uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.